Hi guys, it's Lou, and today I'm doing the zombie tag video, and it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Uh, now that I'm not in zombie makeup for this video, and I feel like I should be, but I just did zombie makeup on Friday. It took me like four hours. Um, Halloween's on Wednesday this year, so, you know, pretty much almost all the Halloween festivities are over. I uh, might be going to a bar or something tonight, but I'm just wearing my Hogwarts uniform today, um, which doesn't really go with the zombie tag video, but that's okay, because it's Halloween. So, zombie tag video. Question number one. The zombie apocalypse has just begun. What is the first thing that you do? Well, the answer is quite simple. Get the hell out of town. I live right in the middle of town, like, right across the street from Walmart. Yeah. No. I gotta get the fuck out. So I'm pretty much gonna grab my gun or my machete or whatever I can get my mitts on, jump on the train tracks, which are also right next to my house, and just walk south for a, probably a whole day and get to my mom's house, which is out in the country, and as soon as I get there, I'm building a barricade because... That's what you gotta do. Question number two. What is your favorite zombie movie? This is a hard one because I love zombie movies. They're like my favorite. I didn't know exactly how to narrow it down. But I think I can be pretty happy with saying that Fido is my favorite zombie movie of all time. Maybe. I don't know. But it's up there. I love that movie so much. It's my fave. But I also like, you know, Night of the Living Dead original and remake, Dawn of the Dead, original and remake, Shaun of the Dead, Zombieland, Planet Terror, Pet Cemetery. Does Pet Cemetery count as a zombie movie? I never really knew if that dead guy was a zombie or a ghost. I think he might have been a ghost. But the cat was a zombie, right? I don't know. I don't know if that's considered a zombie movie, but I, I, I'm gonna say it anyways. Three, your nearest and dearest has been bitten. Do you A, kill them, B, run away and leave them, C, keep them as a pet, or D, something else? I'm gonna kill your ass, nigga. I'm gonna shoot you in the face, and then I'm gonna run away, and then probably, I don't know, be on my own for a while. I just, uh, sorry. Brandon, but if you turn into a zombie, I'm gonna kill you. Question number four. What would your weapon of choice be in the zombie apocalypse? Well, this might sound very Norman Reedus of me, but I would totally go with the crossbow. It's silent, and you don't have to be close to kill them. Like, you know, melee weapons are awesome because they don't make any noise. But the problem with melee weapons is that you have to get so close to the zombies. Not trying to get close to zombies unless I absolutely have to. Um, the problem with silencers on guns is that silencers only last so many rounds. So, and also you can make your own bow and arrows. Or after you kill the zombie, you can just rip the arrow out of their head and reuse it. You can't really do that with bullets, can you? No. Um, five. Who would be your team of choice? Oh, goodness. Um, if I could pick anybody to be m my team for the zombie apocalypse, of course I would pick Daryl Dixon. If you don't pick him, then what are you doing? Like, He's the best zombie survivor guy ever, and he's really hot. Um, Woody Harrelson, because, come on, in Zombieland, Woody Harrelson's a badass. It's true. And I can't help but think that he would really be that badass in real life. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe that's really stupid of me to think so, but... Um, and then, you know, I don't know. It'd be cool if, you know, like... You could be in a team with Dumbledore or something awesome like that. Dumbledore's dead, though. Maybe Dumbledore would be... That would be a cool costume. Dumbledore zombie. 
I don't know. I don't really, just whoever I meet up with, if you're alive in the zombie apocalypse, obviously you're probably, you know, doing something right. Um, oh, six, what five things would you have in your inventory? Um, I didn't really know what to put on this because pretty much everything you are going to need, you can probably scavenge. Um, however, I did put, um, number one is my first aid handbook, which I have strictly for the zombie apocalypse. Gonna need this. I feel like I'm probably gonna get hurt a lot if I had to guess. I'm gonna be like running away from the zombie and then I'm gonna like trip over something and then I'm gonna like fall. That happens all the times in the movies, right? I'm gonna fuck myself up trying to get away from these zombies. So first aid handbook. Two, I put antibiotics because if the zombie apocalypse happens and you already have antibiotics in your house, definitely grab them and take them with you because antibiotics are going to be gold during the zombie apocalypse. Um, there might be even some kind of form of currency between the survivors. It's going to be necessary. Three, um, I put um, one of those water bottles that has like the filter thing like on it so you can put like any water in it and it filters it. That would be really good because you wouldn't have to worry about the zombie apocalypse being in, you know, the disease being in like the water. You just filter it with that water bottle and I'm pretty sure that those filter things last for forever so I put that on there uh, for a weapon of course I'm gonna need a weapon in my inventory um, even if it's a big rock just to bash them in the head with I'm gonna need something um, five I put good solid boots because inventory doesn't that that counts as like your clothes and stuff too right so I put good solid boots I'd like to be wearing my Doc Martens uh, in the zombie apocalypse just because I know that they're gonna be the best things for me Last question, number seven. Oh, wait, you are in a group of survivors and you get bitten. What do you do? A, don't tell them. B, kill yourself. C, tell them and decide what they, and decide, and see what they decide to do with you. God, I can't talk today. Or D, something else. Um, if I was in a group of people and I got bitten by a zombie, I would not hide it from them. That's not fair. If I didn't want to tell them about it, I would just run away. But honestly, I think I would just kill myself because I've been killing zombies this whole time. I don't think I would have a problem with killing myself. I don't know. Before the zombie apocalypse, I thought about killing myself a couple times. Why not do it in the zombie apocalypse, you know? Like, I would have, I don't think I would have a problem with suicide during the zombie apocalypse if I got bitten, but who knows, I probably am, I don't, I don't really know until that happens, do I? Which hopefully it never does, but it will one day. But, um, that's all the questions. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an awesome Halloween, even though I'm sitting in my bathroom filming myself um later tonight if things go and get crazy so my necklace keeps opening too Do, does anybody else have this necklace it's like got the hogwarts crest on it and you open it up and it comes with like little pictures that you can put in there but i have my ron picture in there but it never stays closed it's just like i don't know it's annoying but anyways i need to quit rambling thanks guys bye happy halloween